Hey, welcome in guys. Brandon with Taylor's Fire and Smoke Cooking. I'll thank you guys for being with me today. Today we're going to whip up some honey garlic salmon bites. Now this is something that is really simple and really quick, but it packs a lot of flavor. Let's hurry up and get into this thing because it's not going to take long. All right, so as far as our ingredients go, of course we've got the salmon. This is about a one and a half pound uh, portion of salmon. We have a little bit of olive oil, of course, salt and pepper. We're gonna use a little bit of this Weber honey garlic seasoning. This stuff is amazing, especially on salmon. We have our garlic. I'm gonna use a little bit of red onion. Of course, you gotta have your honey. And then I'm going to use this uh, Saison Perfecta. Uh, this is actually like a knockoff um, complete seasoning. You can get this at uh, Save-A-Lot, but it is really, really good. So I do recommend picking that up as well. So we're going to go ahead on and go ahead and uh, start portioning out our salmon. We're just going to uh, cut them into bite-sized portions. Cut them up as big or as small as you want. But as far as uh, I'm just going probably one by one inch cubes. I have made sure that uh, we got all the pin bones and everything out of this salmon. It is, you will find sometimes that there are some bones left in there. So just make sure you do that. You check it out and make sure that you have no pin bones left. It's always good to have a nice sharp knife. You know, the number one cause of people cutting themselves in the kitchen is due to dull knives so make sure you have a nice sharp knife so you can see about one by one inch cubes you kind of want them to be a little bit uh chunkier because when you cook up your uh, salmon if you cook them if you cut your cubes too little you have a chance of them breaking up and you don't want that you want to keep your your portions uh nice and formed even when cooked so we're just going to go ahead on and put our salmon uh -oh, in a bowl. Like I said, it's not going to take very long. It comes together really quickly and packs a load of flavor. Clean up. All right. So this part is pretty simple. We're just going to add in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's about two tablespoons. Going with our black pepper. Now, as far as seasonings go, as far as the um, amount, season it to your taste, to your liking. You may not like as much black pepper as I do, so you might want to go a little bit lighter with your black pepper, but it's totally up to you. Here's our pink Himalayan salt. Our Saison Perfecta. Now this stuff is really good. You can go really heavy with this and you will not oversalt your food. Lots of garlic and onion and has a citrusy note to it. Like I said, just like complete seasoning. So I do recommend that stuff. It's really good. And then we're going to go with the honey garlic. Hey, babe. You come in. And about... A teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of that. Once you got your season, uh, your salmon seasoned up real well, like we got here, we're just going to put it in the fridge and let it sit for about 15 minutes or so. Then uh, when it's time to get frying, I'll bring you guys back in. All right. So what I have here, I have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Forgot to put that in the ingredient list. And then we're gonna add in about a tablespoon or so of uh, this extra virgin olive oil. And this is what we're going to saute our salmon in initially, just to get it cooked. We're gonna cook it to just about, I would say 85 to 90% done. Then we're gonna pull it. Then we're gonna make our honey garlic sauce and then put the salmon back in it. So just wanna bring this up to temp. The, uh, the butter is melted. I wanna get this oil up to temp because I want my salmon to start cooking immediately uh, when we drop it into the oil. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead on and start putting in our salmon. You see how it's got a nice sizzle going on right off the bat. 
say it's not going to take very long for this to cook up at all. It doesn't take long for salmon to cook anyway. A lot of people, in my opinion, overcook salmon, but uh, it doesn't take very long for it to cook. And depending on the grade of your salmon, you know, you can eat it raw anyway. I don't eat it raw. I'm just saying you can All right. So we've got all our pieces in and we're just going to go ahead on and let it saute up on each side. It's probably only going to take maybe five, six minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and pull it and start on our honey garlic sauce. All right, I'll begin to flip the pieces over. I just want to kind of let you see what we got going on. So you can kind of see the color that we already have on some of these pieces. It's only been about a minute and a half. And you can see we're starting to get nice color on it already. So don't take long. Uh, don't run away from the stove and go check on what's on the TV. Because if you do, you're going to uh, overcook your salmon. All right, guys, I'm just going to finish uh cooking this then i'll bring you guys back in in just a little bit stay tuned all right here's our salmon it's just about ready but it's not completely done yet so all i'm going to do now we're just going to start pulling it out the uh out of our skillet we're going to transfer it to a bowl keep the butter and the oil in the skillet that you already had that's going to provide some much needed flavor or some extra flavor rather to our sauce. You don't want to get rid of that. All right, and you can see how the pieces didn't break up. They're still nice and formed the way we wanted to wanted them. So that's exactly what you're looking for right there. So we're just going to set them to the side right now. And I'm going to add in uh, close to four tablespoons. This is probably three and a half tablespoons more butter. And let's begin to bring that up. And while this butter is melting, I'm going to take in our red onion that we minced up. I minced up probably, a, this is about a quarter of a cup of red onion. If you do not like red onion, you do not have to add it. I like the flavor of red onion uh, with this particular dish. I think it adds a really nice flavor, and that's why I'm using it. But you do not have to use it if you do not want to. And let's begin to saute those onions a little bit to get that bite out of it. And I decided I wanted to add a little heat to it, so I'm going to add in a little bit of crushed red pepper as well. This is also optional. All right. Smells amazing already. Now, all right, so now we're going to add in our garlic. Again, do it to taste. I'm putting in at about a tablespoon and a half, almost two tablespoons of garlic. If you're not a huge garlic fan, then don't put as much as I did. But I like garlic. We like garlic, especially with honey garlic you can't have honey garlic sauce without garlic and we're just going to saute this garlic for about a minute you don't want to cook it super long because you don't want to burn it but you do want to get some of that bitter flavor out of there and mellow it out so that's why you're going to saute it up for about a minute or so and i'm just going to go ahead on and add in another the last tablespoon and a half of butter That way I'll make sure that we have enough sauce. Let's let it break down just a little bit. All right. Now we're almost done, y'all. I told you, don't take long. So now, also I have my uh, heat is on a medium low right now. Because once I put this honey in, I don't want it to burn. So I'm going to go in with our honey. All right, and it doesn't take a ton to get the flavor that you're looking for. So, about a, just under a quarter cup of honey. 
Now we're going to mix everything up and let it come together. We want to bring this up to a nice rolling simmer before we add our salmon back into it. All right, it's up to a rolling simmer. Now we're gonna put that salmon back in and just let it get all nice and coated. Oh man, it smells so good. Matter of fact, let me use a spatula. And you're just going to let it sit up in this sauce for about two minutes, two, three minutes, just to finish cooking off our salmon and for the sauce to thicken up just a little bit. So I'm going to finish letting it do that. And when it's done, we're going to bring you back in. All right, guys, and it's ready. Look at that. Let's go ahead and transfer it to another bowl. Uh-oh, we're going to plate up. I miss you. Look at that. Add a little greenery for garnish. And there it is. Go ahead and make us a bow. All right, we got our perfectly cooked jasmine rice here. If you ain't hip to it yet, I put in another video before. You got some everything bagel seasoning. It's amazing on rice. Just going to top that. A little bit of that. And we're going with some of these garlic bites. Make sure we get some of that garlic butter sauce, our honey garlic butter sauce. A couple more pieces of salmon. Look at that. And then if you want to add a little bit more red pepper, whatever, you can just put a few bumps of red pepper on there and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and get a bite. All right. Let's go ahead and get some. I got to see if have Do some of that. Mm. Mm. Man, oh man, that is so fire. Sweet, spicy, not too salty, but it's not too sweet either. It's just perfectly balanced. The salmon is perfectly cooked, so you can pick it up with your fork. And it's not falling all apart, but once you bite into it, it's like it melts in your mouth. That's the way salmon is supposed to be cooked. And it's not dry on the inside. It's perfectly moist the way that it should be. So I hope you guys give this one a shot. I bet you'll like it. I'm sure you'll like it. And if you do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. When you do try it, share the video out. And I hope to see you guys around again. Till the next time, God bless you.